Howdy there. Welcome to the underwater math farm. My name is Gusina. I live here in this beautiful pasture. The humans on this farm take great care of me, but when you are a dairy cow, the tip-top concern is the volume of milk you are producing. I can tell you all about how to estimate and measure liquid volume. I use it as often as the day is long. Here on this farm we use customary measurements for volume. Fluid ounces, cups, pints, quarts, and gallons. A fluid ounce is used to measure smaller amounts of liquid. A small milk carton like you get at school or in the donut store holds about 10 fluid ounces. You could use a measuring cup, like you do when you are baking, to measure 1 cup of milk. 1 pint of milk is the same as 2 cups. 1 quart is even bigger. It is 2 pints and is like the tall skinny milk cartons you can buy at the grocery store. 1 gallon is even larger and holds 4 quarts. You see gallon sized jugs of milk, or juice, or tea all over these parts. Measuring the volume of milk is no laughing matter over here. We do actually cry over spilled milk. Ha ha. Anyway, here at the farm the young humans love to drink little cartons of apple juice. Would the correct volume for an individual apple juice box be 10 fluid ounces, 10 pints, or 10 gallons? Shout out your answer so I can hear you now. Hopefully you eliminated 10 gallons, that is way too much. 10 pints would be like 20 cups. That's also too much for a juice box. Did you pick 10 fluid ounces? That is the correct answer. Whoa! Check out this guy. This is a huge metal cistern that our milk is put into to clean it. It is over 10 feet tall, and much bigger than Lil Olmi. Would this huge metal container hold 80 cups, 8 quarts, or 800 gallons? I'll give you a quick second to talk to your brain about it. Well, what did you decide? I hope you said 800 gallons because that is the correct answer. The other measurements were too small for this huge container. Let me move on out of the way for this next one. Get it? It's my favorite moo joke. Anyway, look at this container of milk. It has lines or hash marks up the side of the cup to label the volume. To use this measurement tool, you just look at the line the liquid comes up to, and that tells you the volume. Let's use the measuring cup to determine how many fluid ounces of milk we have here. The milk comes all the way up to this line. We move to the middle to see the fluid ounces. How much milk do we have here? That's right everyone, 16 fluid ounces. 16 ounces of creamy goodness. Let's practice some more. This measuring cup contains water. How boring. How many cups of water are in this container? Remember, find the line the liquid comes up to, and that will give you the correct volume. Make sure you look at the side that is measuring cups. Can you figure it out? Did you say 2 cups? If so, you are correct. This measuring cup contains water with a volume of 2 cups. Here on Underwater Math Farm, we love to measure the volume of the milk we produce. Keep practicing and you will become a volume expert soon too.